Hi, I'm Shannon in Bizance with Pacific Sotheby's and today we're going to do an analysis. I specialize in the Whispering Palms uh, community area in Rancho Santa Fe. Whispering Palms, interestingly enough, is one of the first subdivisions outside of the Covenant of Rancho Santa Fe. It is, um, has a golf course, Morgan Run, 305 acres. And Whispering Palms is divided into three separate townhome communities, but today we're going to talk about the houses. So, before we talk about the houses, let me tell you that the homes are in three separate developments. Greens 1, Greens 2, and Greens 3. When Richard Cavanaugh developed Whispering Palms back in the 60s, because he had bought all the property surrounding the golf course, um, he started with Greens 1, and that's the first development. And Greens 1 actually has 69 homes in it. Greens 2, which is where I live on Avenida Feliz, uh, Greens 2 has 103 homes in it. And Greens 3 has uh, 54. And Greens 3 was the last development and the developer left quite a few vacant lots. So there's more custom homes. Sometimes people think in Greens uh, 3 they're a little bit nicer. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about numbers from 2016 to 2017. I think numbers are always interesting and they never lie about houses. So I want to show you um, what is interesting about the 2016 versus 2017. Let's see if I can get it to move. Okay, and that's the River Valley. So this is, okay, so we're going to talk today, though, about the detached homes that are not on the golf course. Because there's about a two to $300,000 difference between them. So today we're going to just talk about the ones that are not on the golf course. Uh, this year, this past year in 2017, we sold six homes versus 2000, in 2017, we sold six homes. Versus in 2016, we sold eight. But the numbers were interesting. The inventory was lower in 2017 because we actually had a 22% increase. Our average price in 2017 for non-golf course frontages was $1,226,000, which is pretty impressive. We haven't ever been that high. 2016, we were at a million four. So that's a 22% increase over average price. And it's a 17% increase on price per square foot because we were right in that 532. But what I also want to mention, which is kind of interesting, is in 2016, the houses that we sold actually... <laughs> There's always something funny going on in the movie studio and it happens to be my dog. No, we don't need to go into the dog. But anyways, Dylan is... <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyways, we don't have to videotape <laughs> the dog. Okay, but what I did want to tell you is that the houses in 2016, half of them, people... <laughs> half of them, people... Don't laugh, Kristen, you're going to make me laugh. Okay, so the houses in 2016, people, they were flipped. So people bought them in the eight, 900,000 range, spent some money, and then those are the exact same houses that sold in 2017 for a high price. For example, um, like a house that I sold in 2016 on Avenue de Feliz, I sold it in the original condition for 900,000, and then the gal that bought it from me, she turned around, invested in it, and it was one of the highest priced houses. It sold for a million three twenty five, uh, completely done. So I thought I thought that that was interesting. And then volume to me is always interesting. So in the detached homes, uh, in two thousand sixteen, we sold eight million in detached homes, but in two thousand seventeen, remember when I told you about inventory? Uh, we had less houses that we sold. We sold two houses less, and the uh, volume was seven million three hundred and sixty. So I thought, I hope you found that interesting. We've had a run on the little detached homes in that eighteen hundred to twenty one hundred square foot, 
especially the ones that are detached single story. Everybody wants a single story right now and people are trying to buy them uh, as their forever homes and they're always on demand. I think we have three or four in escrow right now. I hope you found this interesting. In the next couple days, we'll do the golf course frontage. And if people are interested in this, I'll, I'll start doing weekly an analysis on each development. And then we'll go per month of what happened in I'll call or what happened in the detached for the previous month. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, I have a Facebook page called Whispering Palms on Facebook. This is live on that. And then I also have a website called discoverwhisperingpalms.com that's full of all information, including all the floor plans, which you definitely want to have. So anyways, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you soon around the club.